G'day there. You're watching the Aussie BIM Guru. Today I've got a video just to announce a quick update for the channel that I think a lot of people will find very useful. Um, so as you can tell, it's related to GitHub. Um, so just a quick video, uh, just to let you know about it and to show you how to use it. So essentially, if anyone watched my New Year's video or they've been following my progress, um, they'll know that I announced I'm going to be making a GitHub for the channel. Um, the handle for the, the GitHub is a little bit different, um, but I'm just going to show you where it is, what it has on it and how you can access it. So why am I making a GitHub with all my stuff on it? Have I gone crazy? Um, no. I think I've realized that most of you are quite busy and not everyone wants to follow along and just build along with me. Um, and that's okay. I don't mind if you just want to download the script, have a look at it, try it out. That's fine. Um, so I've decided to put a few things on the GitHub just to save people a bit of time if they're like this. If you still want to learn, um, you should probably still follow the videos. I find you'll get more out of it. Um, I'm also doing it just to help the industry to put more information out there. Um, what I'm putting out there is pretty much just personal information that I've put together for the channel. So it doesn't really bother me if it's out there. It's good marketing for me as well. Um, and as well as that, I get a lot of requests with people that just say, send me the script. They don't even say hi, thanks, anything like that. Um, and I can't wait to just respond to them with a link and just say, there you go, done. Who cares? So um, it's my way to sort of save me a bit of time as well. Please note that if you just download my scripts and then reach out to me, um, I'm much less likely to help you because by doing this, you've sort of told me you're busy and you probably know more about Dynamo and don't need to follow along with the tutorial. And that's fine, but I won't take a lot of time, lot of time to troubleshoot or help you through the script. If you're just downloading it to be lazy, um, then I'm probably not going to put a lot of effort into helping you, put it that way. So um, it, it's at your own peril, but I think some people will find this more useful. Um, so this is the GitHub, so it looks a little bit like this. I'll show you how to access it and how to get some material in a sec, uh, but essentially it has three things on it. So it contains most of my Dynamo scripts from my videos, so the demo versions I used in the videos. It contains all my presentations as PDF. And it also contains most of my Grasshopper scripts that I've used in the videos as well. Um, as I release more content on my channel, I'll probably upload about once a month, um, unless I can anticipate that a video is going to get a lot of requests for the script, where I might upload it straight away. Um, so yeah, just keep an eye on the GitHub and I'll keep it up to date where I can. Um, it, everything on the GitHub has a naming convention. So if you're looking for a particular topic based on a video and you might be looking for, say, the presentation for it, all you have to do is look at the date and then just go in year, month, date format and you'll find the corresponding presentation or script or whatever else. So how to find it. So it's at this link here, or if you search for Aussie BIM Guru. So essentially, if I just jump onto GitHub right now and I'm just logged in as another GitHub user right now, not the actual Aussie BIM Guru one, if I just search for Aussie BIM Guru and go for all of GitHub, it'll tell me it can't find anything, but if you go down to users, it should find Aussie BIM Guru. Uh, so I can just go into there, straight into the GitHub. And this is the GitHub. So essentially you've got three sections here. So you've got Dynamo scripts, presentations, and Grasshopper scripts. Let's just go to Grasshopper scripts for now. So the way that GitHub works is essentially you can't edit anything in um, in this area. However, I probably will modify this soon so that you can't propose changes to any files because you can technically open these files, update them and propose it as a change to me. Um, obviously, I prefer you don't do that because these files just are what they are. Um, if you want to download these files, it's quite simple. You just you either can open in GitHub desktop or you can download as a zip. So GitHub desktop is quite handy. I've been using it to upload all my files. So if you download GitHub desktop, it looks a little bit like this. It's, it's basically a program you can run in Windows and I believe you might be able to run it in Mac as well. And you can essentially just clone a, a, a set of files. Um, so I can just go in, uh, open in desktop, uh, open GitHub desktop. And it essentially just asks me to clone um, a set of files. And I can, I can choose a path for where I want to save this to. I'll just go clone for now. And it's cloning all the Grasshopper scripts to GitHub desktop receiving all the objects and once it's done you should be able to go show in explorer and voila there's all the grasshopper scripts that i've uploaded to github so this should help you um, keep up to date um, if you want to keep your githubs uh, on your computer and just keep refreshing them every time i make something new github desktop also lets you do that as well 
So perfectly up to you how you want to work with this system, but I found it very interesting and I highly recommend anyone that is looking to share things to use GitHub. It's a really smooth and easy system to use, especially with um, GitHub Desktop. You don't have to learn any code, essentially. Anyway, um, so yeah, I've just went through the quick demonstration of how to use GitHub and get the files. Um, so hopefully that helps you um, in learning more through my channel. So thanks for watching today, very quick video. Um, I'll be back to normal, normal videos um, in my next one. And I look forward to sharing more things with you in, in 2020. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye.